ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first time lap of Suzuka in the iRacing Star Mazda Series. Suzuka, a track we were at not too long ago in the Codemasters F1 season. But this is my first time here in any kind of iRacing series. And what a track it is. Extremely technical. Probably one of the most interesting to drive so far this season, in my opinion. The name of the game here in uh, the F1 series has always been Coast. Getting the cars to coast around the turns. In this junior formula car, it is much the same. Oh, understeer. The first lap here of qualifying is probably going to be a throwaway. The track is extremely hot. However, it still seems to be the case that the car comes in on the second lap. This track is... It's like two tracks. There's the cool Suzuka, and then there's the hot, clearly heated by the pits of hell Suzuka that we are on right now, and... It is just two completely different tracks. When this place gets slick, it gets really slick. And this car likes to slide around. It's going to make for a very interesting race with everybody sliding around. You'll see my delta time is ridiculously off. Because this track really is three, maybe four seconds slower lap consistently when it's hot. It's pretty crazy. Let me focus on a lap here. We got one in the books. 59.2. I think we probably need to be in the mid-58s to be fairly comfortable. Float it into one. Down a third for two. Let the back rotate a little. Get back to the gas as soon as you can. A little bit of lift here. Brakes a little, float, float. Back to the gas. A little lift. Float through here. Keep it on a shallow exit. So we can get a decent run through the last of the S's. Got a little bit of understeer there. Flip the inside curb, met the gas. Flip the inside curb, mat the gas. And we come up to the hairpin, up to fifth, end of the curb, break down to second. Get a little bit of that inside curb, not too much. Some of the curbs here have a tendency to grab tires and it will pull you along into the grass. I'm, I'm guessing we'll probably see that be the case in the race. Alright, these two. Definitely the hardest turn on the track, in my opinion. Camber falls away. It's all about the front end grip. We're really going to have to hit that last chicane perfectly if we want that 58. 30 R here, pretty much a non issue, even in the draft. Down a second. A little bit more inside curve than I want. But we should be pretty happily into the eights. What do we do? 58 8. Uh, not spectacular, but that should have us in, I would say, about a top six. Alright, so we are actually starting P4. Possibly even better than that. The second place person just dropped out due to a connection issue, so who knows what this is going to be here. Uh, confession, this is actually race number two for me this week. However, really, it's only race number one. I never made it off the start in the first one. Well, I, I made it off the start just a little too early. Just just a bit too early. It's actually the first time I've done that this season, so I guess, I guess one jump start is acceptable. Is it the first? I'm going to pretend that it is. But we'll try not to do that here and have a decent go at it. Turn one's going to be pretty crazy with the cars all sliding around. Well, looks like, indeed, we will not have a second-place person. 
He's rolling. Green, green, green. I don't know if the six is gonna be black flagged or not. Well, oh, this is actually good for our start. Threw a little bit of a defensive line at the two there. This is so treacherous on cold tires. Oh, it's treacherous all the time. It's even more treacherous on cold tires. A lot of times I'll grab fifth early there just to kind of have that little bit of a lift and get the shift out of the way at the same time. That's a bit more curb on the inside than I'd like to get. But overall, a decent start for us. Good run out of the hairpin. We got the number one and two seated drivers behind us. It's uh, four, five, and six leading the pack right now. However, this is a um, very closely, very closely matched field. So I don't think those are quite as. Uh, Quite as important as in some races. Oh, there's the second place driver just got in. That stinks. Wow, did have to lift a little bit through there. Maybe just as. Okay, car is a bit heavy. Tire's a bit cold. That's about the only curb you can be greedy with at this track. And I was quite greedy with it. Turn one with a draft. Let's see what happens here. David showing a lot of speed right there. That's just a bad qualifying lap for him. Let's try and hold him off as long as he can. He maybe caught a little bit of the curb on the exit. Easy to do. I really think I have a long run car here. So I'm hoping it's gonna maybe start to come around for us. A mistake there from the six. It's a pretty long race. As far as this this series goes, anyway, had to had to go for the five gallons of fuel, so that pretty much dictates how long the race is going to be. Oh, there's a leader spinning, or almost spun, showing you how treacherous this place is. He ran like a 57 something in qualifying too. We're all pulling draft here. We're gonna go at it. Wow, we actually held it. I couldn't really tell what was going on. But he did actually hold the lead there. Still very early. Much better line through one this time for me. Lost momentum there though. These S's are tough. Especially when you don't have the arrow on the front. The front tires just do not want to hook up. I feel like that's one of my better parts of the track right there.
Pretty evenly spaced now. I think Alex has the speed to check out. See how much my car is wanting to slide sideways there. It's very easy to do. Alright, another e even draft here, so two shouldn't be pulling up on me. Six was another mistake there. <laughs> Defensive line much? I don't know about that. Alright, we managed to get away with that without losing too much time to David, who I think is faster than the two of us. changing my line all of a sudden to try and match the way they're swinging out into that turn. I feel like I shouldn't do that. Really feel like the six is losing the back end of the car. And Alex is checking away. Hayes I expected. Jeez. That's what has caught me out more with this car than anything is... When you're racing close with other people, this car has such amazing brakes that people... I mean, I do the same thing. To, to correct the car, you just slam the brakes mid-turn. When you're right behind someone, it's very... Um, discombobulating. Not a great run off the chain. Draft open us out there. Again, the six didn't wide. I feel like that's gonna bite him eventually. If nothing else, it's gonna wear the hell out of those rear tires. Sticking to my normal line there now. Much happier. Didn't I say that was my best turn? That's kind of what I meant about how the, the curves will hook you, though. They just pulled me right along. You can't just drive off of them. I'd rather take the off track than try and pull the car up off the curb and spin. Went to the wrong gear there. <laughs> Drift mode enabled. Yellow. bearing straight again. Damn. Too much curb. Well, I thought I had a long run car. I guess I 
I might have been wrong there. Eh, it's probably mental. Alright, we got a gap now, so let's just... Get our head back in the game here. Whereas the six seems to be losing the rear. I feel like I'm more losing the front. There we go. That's how you do it. Good line through there. Sector 4 is where I have been the strongest. that to my advantage. My weaker spots like this one. See now that the six doesn't have as much pressure from behind, he's really cleaned it up. So hopefully David can get up there and Stop using that curb. It's not working for you, Cone. Yeah, hopefully Dave can get up there and start to draw this back, back together by the end of the race. Starting in 58s. It's a good time for the conditions. I thought that was a little too fast into one, but it actually worked out. wish it had been a cool race. <laughs> I uh, feel a lot better here in the cool. We're hanging in there pretty well. Nope. Boy, it's feast or famine right there. I'll take the off tracks. Yeah, we barely, barely lost any time in all that. I have been messing with the tire pressures a lot this week here. Trying to keep them in the 21 pounds of pressure range when they're hot. So the advice that I got And that seems to make the car handle a little bit more consistently throughout the weather conditions. It's just a tough place to be consistent at. Actually a pretty good lap. Yeah, 58.4. David, no lagging. We got Tom out of our draft now. Let's try and hold that. David, a little bit offline through the S's this time. They go so wide before this turn. I understand why. So you can set that turn up right, but when I turn right that hard there, it gets the front tire so hot it won't turn. Try and play it a little bit more conservative through that section. Yeah, we're 
drawing back in a little bit. He was flirting with disaster there. He is really pushing it. There's like a ramp on the exit of that curbing there. And it will it will damage your car and it will also really screw you up. Seems like an odd thing to have at a Formula One track, but who am I to judge? I think I got, I got my groove back. A track like this, that's what it's all about. You gotta hit your marks just so precisely. Or it will feel like the car has just completely gone off on you, but really you're just that uh, two inches off of, off of the line. See, I bet you he's not having to do that second lift right there. This was a bit, a little bit aggressive with the curb. Six car running wide. The draft is good. I think my downforce is right. Just not quite close enough for it to make too much of a difference. No seventh gear, just, just in case you were wondering. I checked for you. It's a nice line through there. Again, no seventh here. Thought maybe they had added one. Jeez, he's actually, in my eyes, I don't know if he is or not, he actually looks like he's clipping the grass on the exit of that turn. Whoa, too much curve there. Well, at least I didn't get the off track that time. That'll be a couple tenths. Just that little bit of lock up. As happens in road racing, I feel like this, this group has settled into exactly the positions that we are speed-wise. It doesn't always make for the most exciting racing, but sometimes it just kind of settles out that way. I really think it's the draft down the straightaways and just a couple little mistakes that he's making that's keeping me as close as I am. That's a 58.9. That was really not a bad lap, so he had a he had a really good one there. It's 
So much left foot breaking at play right there. I don't know how you would do that if you were a right foot breaker. There's just a lot of pedal play in this entire track. Steering the car with the brake and the throttle almost as much as you are the steering wheel. Well, last time we lost the nose there, this time we lost the tail. One point three, we're still sniffing the draft. Using the brake lock up right there just to save the car. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, my legs are actually like sore right now. This is the most I've ever practiced for one of these races this season too, just because I I was so uncomfortable here at Suzuka. Felt like I needed it. I didn't end up having time or really the energy to uh, do a stream of practice this week. And mostly I just really wanted to focus on it. See, I did probably six hours of practice just yesterday. And almost one race. <laughs> Trying it. Still wasn't able to go full throttle. But we're hanging tough with him. Yeah, if we're going to draw in on him, that's the spot I can do it. to the one second mark. All I need him to do is go to third like I did. Well, we got a little bit of an interesting development there. It looks like the six has fallen back to uh, his clutches. Would be 1.8 back, not quite to draft distance. Getting close. Nice run through there. Fifty-eight two. I'm giving it everything. Too much, too much, too much. <laughs> Don't give it everything. Give it a little less. That one mistake in turn one has me all screwed up for the entire S's. That's how this track works. I'm lucky he didn't have an amazing run through there either. There was the mistake I needed from him, but I wasn't close enough. But we're back up there. Let it spin.
All right, finally hit my mark there. Feels like it's been five laps since I've done that. Two to go. We're as close as we've been. Fifty-eight three, another good lap. The worst thing that can happen for me is uh, the two getting the sixth draft. And I think that's happening. I think he's actually close enough now. Squeak the gas pedal. No. Ah. We must be close to a four gallon race. a little wide there, didn't he? I guess he got it. He got it under control. Let's see, doing the math in my head, I'm pretty sure he's pulling a little bit of a draft right now. White flag, and it is getting closer. Maybe we'll get really lucky, the two will try to pass the six, and they'll take each other out. Seven and a, about a point nine gap to the lead or to the front there. Now we're here. Even with that random down to second. A little slow under the hairpin. Not what I needed. Come on, screw this up, man. Not a great run. Come on, close up. It's closing. It's trying. Yeah, that's what I figured I'd have to lift a little. Man, just one more lap. Give me one more lap. Ah. <laughs> Good race, guys. All right, so we end that race in the fourth position after starting in the fourth quote-unquote position. Really, we started third. I'm going to count that, so I'm going to say that I lost a point and owe oh, Child's Play a dollar for that one. 
I'm also going to say I owe Child's Play $5 for jumping the start in the first race. So we'll say $6 plus $1, $7 going to Child's Play this week. 104 championship points isn't actually, I believe, going to be one of the events that will uh, help increase my points total. I believe I've already had eight weeks where I've gotten around 100 points. So unless um, unless we happen to, to get into a very high strength of field race in these last two weeks at Spa and Watkins Glen, really going to have a hard time, I think, increasing my points total at the moment. Uh, but we'll just have to just have to play it by ear here and see how things go. Our fastest lap was on lap number 12. The car really did seem to come in right at the end there, but we also had that nice draft going. We had a pretty good lap, but uh, I think I really failed at consistency early in the race. Cost me that position with David. Maybe could have finished in the third position, but you never know. Like I said, I really think the thing that was helping me cling on to David was indeed the draft and not necessarily... My outright pace, that line that they had, that really wide entry that I kept talking about, that was, I think, one of the main difference makers. Should I ever come back to Suzuka? Something I, I will definitely try to focus on because I was not getting that. And let's see, we did gain a little bit of eye rating back. I lost a ton for the no start race, so we're pretty much hanging right where we were. But we're increasing that safety rating once again up to a 3.74. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get that up to a 4.0 before the end of the season. That'd be cool. Well, that's going to do it for this time in Suzuka. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope it was an entertaining race. And we will see you next week in, I believe, Spa.